Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is the sixth lecture on PDCCH, and we were studying about uh, we were studying about mapping of PDCCH in OFDM symbol. Okay, uh, in last tutorial I have shown you how REGs are uh, mapped. Okay, so we know that REGs are made up of four REs. Okay, and I forgot to explain you about CCE here, right? So we know that CC is uh, made up of nine REGs, right? So let's say <coughs> if we combine the this REG, okay, uh, represented by sky blue color, this REG, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, okay. So if I combine these nine REGs, okay, so this will form a CC, okay. And in this CC, we can uh, send the PDCCH. Okay. So we have already seen the uh, PDCCH format also, right? Okay. So this is the PDCCH format. Okay. So at least one CC is required, right? If you want to send the PDCCH. So for that, you need at least one CC. Okay. So <clears throat> let's consider an example. Here I have shown you this time frequency grid. Okay. So let's say just a second. This is my PRB zero. This is my PRB one. This is my PRB two. In this way, if my bandwidth is twenty megahertz, so there will be total hundred PRBs, right? PRB ninety nine. Okay. So let's say CFI used here is two. Two means uh, the first two OFDM symbols will be used for PDCCH. Okay, zero and one. Okay, so fine. Okay, so these are twelve subcarriers. Okay, these are twelve subcarriers. These are another twelve subcarriers. Okay, so we know in first OFDM symbol, if we are using two cross two MIMO, <coughs> so here two REGs will be present, right? This we have seen here. These two REGs are present if we are using two cross two MIMO in first OFDM symbol. Okay, and in second OFDM symbol, there will be three REGs, correct? We can confirm. We can confirm this thing from here. Three REGs in. Second of dim symbol one two three. Okay, so total if I so the no, total number of REGs available here are two plus three equals to five. Okay, but we need at least one CC right if we want to send some PDCCH information, and one CC E is made up of nine REGs, correct? But here only five REGs are available in one resource block. Okay, so we have to borrow other four REGs from another PRB. Okay, so we can borrow these four REGs from PRB number one. Okay, so five REGs of PRB zero and four REGs from PRB one from here. Okay, so is if you add them, so you will get nine REG. Nine REG is known as one CC. Okay, and why we are trying to make one CC because if you look at PDCCH format, okay, so at least 
one cc is required to send pdcs information okay fine uh, let's come to another term known as aggregation level aggregation level it is defined as the number of cc is used for sending a control information its value could be 1 2 4 and 8 okay so so we can mention the aggregation level here okay aggregation level its value could be 1 2 4 and 8 okay so if we are using pdcs format 0 we know the number of cc's will be 1 okay so this is known as aggregation level number means in this case aggregation level aggregation level will be 1 okay if you are using pdcs format 0 so in that case number of cc's will be 2 and aggregation level will be 2 if we are using pdcs format 2 number of cc's will be 4 and aggregation level will be 4 so you can see the number of cc's is it's just a it means it's just a aggregation level if you are using pdcs format 3 number of cc's will be 8 and aggregation level will also be 8 okay now uh, let me give you an example suppose this is my e node b okay and this is a u e okay and e node b wants to send 90 bits of control information 90 bits of control information in pdcch so my question is what aggregation level will be used aggregation level will be used so uh, let's find out the answer so as i told you aggregation level could be your one two four and eight okay so if aggregation level is one number of cc's used will be one okay one cc means nine regs okay nine regs means nine multiplied by four re's correct so it will be your total 36 re's correct and we know for pdcch channel the modulation scheme used is qpsk qpsk means two bits per symbol per symbol or per resource element okay so how many bits will be carried by 36 re to calculate this you have to multiply 36 re by 2 bits per re or per symbol okay so this re and re will be cancelled out so it will come around 72 bits okay and if you remember this is the case of pdcch format 0 okay here if pdcs format is 0 bits you can send is 72 bits it's same thing okay but we have to send 90 bits not 72 bits okay so in this case you cannot use aggregation level 1 or you can say you cannot use pdc format 0 okay so you want to send 90 bits let's uh, move on to another aggregate next aggregation level if aggregation level is 2 the number of cc will be 2 okay so 2 multiplied by 9 it will contain 18 regs correct 18 regs means 18 multiplied by 4 re it means 4 8 32 72 re is total okay 72 re's could be used if you are using aggregation level 2 okay it's very simple huh? 18 regs I am just explaining you 18 RGs means if you are using aggregation level 2 you have to make 18 RGs okay in this example we have taken 2 RGs and 3 RGs from here so total 5 RGs from PRB 0 
okay and total uh, let's and five regs you can means uh, consider from prb1 okay so 5 plus 5 10 but we need 18 regs right so you can take another 5 regs from here so it will be 15 and another regs now 3 are left right so 3 regs you can take from this will be your prb into 3 so 3 regs you can take from uh, prb3 okay so here total 5 are available but we have considered only 3 regs because we need 18 regs for aggregation level 2 okay if you combine them 15 plus 3 18 18 regs 18 regs means okay so 18 regs means aggregation level 2 or better to say like 18 regs means 2 cc right 2 cc means aggregation level 2 aggregation level 2 means pdcch format 1 okay fine so this is how we consider the regs okay so 72 re is correct so how many bits you can send with 72 re is re is if you remember this is the re this is this thing is re okay so we can send two bits in each of these re's if we are using qpsk right so 72 re is this is 72 re is or symbol two bits per re why because we are using qpsk for pdcch so these re re will be cancelled out so we are left with 144 bits right hmm, 144 bits this is the case of pdcch format 1 okay so one out of 144 bits 90 bits will be used to carry pdcch data or control data because you know we want to send the 90 bits of control information okay and the other bits that is 144 minus 90 it will come around your 54 bits so 54 bits will be used for redundant redundancy Redundant bits will be 54 which are used for uh, error detection and error error correction and error detection error correction and error detection I will provide you the link uh, in description for if you want to study this error correction and error detection these are ARC, ARC these are the procedures ok so I will provide the link in description ok so we can conclude it here that if e node b has to send 90 bits of control information it will use aggregation level 0 or pdcch format 1 why because using aggregation level 2 e node b can send 144 bits okay so 90 bits could be used for sending pdcch or control data and other for 54 bits are used as a redundant bits for error detection and error correction okay so <clears throat> i hope you are very clear means how we will decide what pdc stitch format or uh, what aggregation level we have to use if e node b has some control information uh, to be shared with ue okay <clears throat>